good evening students here i am today to talk to you about an issue that many students have come up with in the recent months and i thought that there might be many other students out there who are also facing the same problem and so i decided to speak out on it on my own um as a person moves on in life he or she is assigned many roles apart from the role that he or she was already playing as i have seen in my case besides being a teacher i've gradually emerged in the role of a motivational speaker for my students uh, when i used to when i started sharing my personal struggles on social media i never expected my students and even in some cases the mothers of the students to come up and tell me that yes we identify with this and whatever you are writing and sharing are uh, is also helping us to brave our own oddities to wade through our own quagmires so that was a kind of sunshine for me and i got the motivation to do that even more now today the even that uh, the issue that i will be speaking about is a very sensitive issue for many students and i know that they are going to um, find help after hearing this video that is the attraction towards <clears throat> in case of girls the attraction they feel towards the opposite sex and how to deal with it because there are many girls who have told me that uh, when we feel attracted towards uh, boys it often disturbs our studies because we feel that this attraction is wrong because if we try to speak with this with our parents our parents judge us if we try to share this with our elder sisters or brothers they also judge us and they immediately stop us now is this wrong this is the first question they are asking and number 2 how to respond how to react if we don't get any reciprocation from the person whom we are liking these are the two major issues that my students have uh, raised and i think that it is my duty to help them out because uh, as i have always addressed in my other motivational videos it is more important to uh, settle the things other than studies to keep studies on track it is not always studies that make us depressed it is often and more often the subjects other than studies which disturb our studies so uh, as i am um, as i was talking to quite a number of students in the past few months i understood that when they get attracted to when you people get attracted to the to the opposite sex the first thing that uh, trouble you is this that is it wrong now first of all it is not wrong it is absolutely normal to like someone of the opposite sex even if that is your teacher you can also get attracted to a, a teacher and that is absolutely okay so you should not nurture or harbor any guilt for that number 1 but you should keep in mind that this liking or attraction is not causing destruction to your education like when you are sitting down to study the thoughts of this liking should not lurk in your mind and deviate you from the from your studies then that will be a harm to you nothing to be guilty about it because it is very difficult to deal with guilt in adolescence so don't be guilty about it but this is only a reality check that you need to impose upon yourself in order to recognize the fact that um, the time that is scheduled for your study is limited and you cannot afford to lose that because we know that the clock goes only one once the clock only rotates once so you will not get the hour lost back number 1 number 2 if that person uh, towards whom you are taking this strong liking doesn't respond doesn't reciprocate how to react number 1 remember when it uh, the cycle of seasons that we encounter in a year uh, is a normal cycle is a spontaneous cycle right similarly our uh, liking is also like that it will come and it will go like the seasons it is a natural course uh, like the seasons our liking and disliking for opposite sex is like the course of season that occurs through a year it comes and it goes it will come when it is bound to come it will leave when it is bound to leave so you are not supposed to react uh, sensitively if your feelings are not reciprocated because that is not going to help you should keep in mind one very uh, pertinent point that uh, you know it doesn't matter if someone doesn't reciprocate your feeling because your feeling is your very own and it is your energy it is your uh, energy of love that should actually help you do your work 
with more enthusiasm and rejuvenation you should not think in this way that i am attracted towards that person that guy but that person is not reciprocating so there is some fault within me there is some shortcoming within me this is the kind of thought that actually uh, torments you troubles you and you feel inferior maybe that boy is liking some other girl but not you and so you feel a bit uh, depressed you feel a bit inferior but there is nothing like that just be happy that you are liking someone be happy that your hormones are in place and you are taking interest in someone and keep it like that to help you in your studies now you will you will ask that how will this help me in my studies this feeling is very much like our food like we eat food this liking is also like a food so it is required for your mental and emotional health and to not like is abnormality to like is normality so because you are liking it shows you are normal you are not doing anything abnormal so as long as you are normal you should not try to restrict it restrain it or stop it or control it you should only try to schedule the timing like if i like it's very good i'll think one to two minutes a day but not more than that but if that person doesn't reciprocate i don't care because it is my liking and i will use it to feel good to feel cheerful that yes i like that person okay it may be a sir it may be a madam it may be your friend or it may be an elder brother or senior okay now the moment uh, this feeling is within you it is like the rain drops touching your body you get refreshed you get replenished stop it there don't extend it further don't do these things like don't try to analyze why you are liking the thing that you try to do is that you try to analyze why am i liking this person more than i like my other friends because it is your age it is not love i can tell you with confidence that it is not love you people have a tendency of watching this films and then trying to justify and rationalize that whatever is troubling you is love it is not so because this kind of feelings never have occurred to you probably before so whenever you feel attracted you feel you try to feel you try to think it is love it is not love because there is nothing called love for a human being in this entire earth okay you can you can not love any any human being apart from yourself so don't uh, fool yourself into thinking that you are in love with someone you are not you are loving someone because if you feel you are loving someone it is just because you love yourself that is why you are getting attracted to that person our love comes from a vacuum inside ourselves which we see in the reflection of some other person that is the concept of love like if i see a person and i start getting attracted it means that there is a vacuum inside me which that person is reflecting he is fulfilling that vacuum so i am finding my completion in that person so it is because i love myself and i want to love myself better i am getting attracted to that person so don't try to fool yourself by thinking that you love that person you love yourself so if you love yourself and your love is emanating from self love then you should put this reality check not to torment yourself because that person is not responding don't take it sensitively just flow with the liking just you know wed with the liking go with it enjoy it and don't allow don't invest more than 2 to 3 minutes behind this fantasizing and all it is absolutely okay to fantasize but it is absolutely not okay to think to delve into this uh, pool of thought why do i like that person what is this emotion called don't do all this r and d this r and d is not going to help you this research and development is not going to help you that why you are liking that person i am liking i am liking the story liking khatam baat khatam okay don't try to go beyond this that is harmful so number 1 don't feel guilty number 2 don't be sensitive number 3 don't fool in yourself into believing that it is love and why is am i falling in love then this must be something serious and number 4 don't waste time behind it you like him very good you like her very good enjoy it be with it and then say goodbye to it as long as it is giving you good vibes to study as long as it is giving you some romanticism to fantasize after your studies it is okay but whenever you see it is crossing that limit you should do one thing you should treat it like a door mat like i tell my students that this word propose treat it like a papoosh okay don't go beyond that because it is going to harm your studies and my sole intention of making this video is to bring you out of this zone of guilt you will see many things like friends owning you like someone but that person is constantly going to treat you as a friend it's absolutely okay if that is so 
doesn't matter don't take it to your heart don't waste time behind it just enjoy it enjoy that you are liking someone and accept that it is your self love that is making you love the other person nothing more than this it is not the love for that person which i try to get into your head hammer into your head it is your love for yourself just close the chapter there and study because remember one thing if you don't study if you lose your time if you waste your time behind all these things uh you are going to suffer you know i used to be i used to feel very guilty whenever i felt attracted to any boy when i was a child i felt that i was doing wrong okay but then i saw many girls who were maintaining five boyfriends simultaneously and they have done really well in life so it really doesn't matter so don't do this mistake like i have done if you like someone it's absolutely okay and it doesn't matter so as long as you are not harming your studies this is the only thing that you need to keep in mind be happy be confident and don't be too sensitive because it may seem a bit um, insensitive from my side but in this contemporary age there is no place for emotions yes treat your work with emotion treat uh, the person involved with your work with emotion whatever is emanating from your work you treat that with emotion but don't try to get emotional with any human being that will not help this is my suggestion to you and i think the students who have already shared with me their problems and i have not been able to address them successfully will find some help in this video and those students who have never been able to open up with me about this will also feel a bit relaxed after listening to this video and will find some help from it if not don't hesitate to drop a message in the comment box or ping me on my whatsapp i'll uh, you have my whatsapp number i'll not share this on the public youtube forum be free to open up but also stay happy it is essential to stay happy and stay tension free nothing matters at the end of the day if you are kissing success because everyone at the end of the day will just see where you stand in life nobody will go back and see whom you liked and who didn't like you back stay happy and stay blessed